very nice. It has, um, it's basically a clip-on dash cam. It goes on your exist existing mirror. Um, and of course it has have a 12 volt uh, power plug so you can easily plug it in. The cool thing I like about the this camera is like it, it uh, if you you can turn the screen off and it just looks like a regular mirror so nobody would uh, uh, see what the camera is recording uh, but at the same time it will be recording. Um, it does have two cameras of course so the camera part is visible they are adjustable um, you can you can adjust it to like 180 degrees I believe that's what the setting is so it's not as configurable as uh, you would want but it still still uh, works uh, the camera is boosting up uh, down uh, from the mirror so they're very visible uh, but the whole idea is to you know um, have a camera so you can actually um, see the front and the back view and um, the problem uh, with my previous one was which was um, uh, working fine for many many years but then the battery failed on it, so it stopped storing, uh, what you call, uh, date stamp. So it just didn't have the date. You set the date up and every time you turn the car off, of course, the, the battery was dead. And, uh, so you would have to set it up every time so I stopped doing that but it would automatically turn on when your car turns on or start recording which is good so it still works it's not as high resolution as this I think it's 1440p this is 1920p 1920p with two cameras but I don't think the camera quality is that great on this it's like looks like a standard definition to me um, I do have another webcam which I think I'm gonna put it on this car because I want the best picture possible and that that webcam uh, the dash cam is actually uh, more expensive um, and it is uh, has a 1080p per camera so that's definitely high definition and it's not 4k but it's dead and it's been with me for a little while I just don't use it I put in a car that I no longer drive so um, yeah, I mean, I think any dash cam in your car is better than um, no dash cam. Uh, the reason for that is, uh, you know, uh, you really, you really want to have uh, footage of your driving on your camera for your uh, safety and reference. So if something happens, you ran into an accident, and it's your words against their word somebody watches the footage it can be used as an evidence for um, uh, disputes uh, insurance claim frauds and stuff like that so uh, nice to have uh, something that backs your statement up uh, but if you don't have it you know I mean people drive it but uh, uh, it's also uh, I think it's like a black box so let's say you do have an accident, have an accident, and you die, okay, God forbid, but if you die, they will know what happened actually, what caused the accident, if somebody hit you, or if somebody, uh, uh, you know, uh, somebody that fault, is it's your fault, but they will know, I mean, like, it's nice to have these kind of uh, dash cameras on your car, so, there is a log of all your trip. Um, I know I have a GPS tracker uh, in my car, uh, but um, every company is a little bit different. Like I have a, I had a GPS tracker from uh, uh, Metro Mile, and it gave you me a you know complete trip. Uh, not as detailed but it's still a complete 
trip from point A to point B, uh, time, how many miles I drove, and they track those miles to bill me for the insurance plan. But Progressive, on the other hand, doesn't have mileage tracker, but what they do is your driving habit tracker. So if you are heart breaking, if you're heart accelerating, or if you are um, uh, driving after certain times, like midnight uh, driving, uh, or like weekend driving, then they ding you for it. So they're just looking at the habit, uh, and also speed limit. Uh, if you are going about 75, I believe, they ding you. Uh, I don't think they usually reference the speed limit to the road speed limit. Uh, I don't know if uh, there's enough software built in. I mean, I guess they can do it if they want to, but they didn't, don't, I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, but yeah. So you drive uh, really carefully with progressive snapshot device because um, when I first uh, put the device and I wasn't paying attention, uh, you you know you can trigger the heart breaking just by stopping like you normally do because you don't give yourself enough time to s safely stop in progressive uh, uh, eyes. Uh, they, because they 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 gauge you based on how long it took you to uh, slow down from that speed limit, which they do know. And then the time that you were like literally zeroed out, you know. So uh, if you do solo down too fast, which you can, but the previous like brakes are pretty good, and um, you will trigger a heartbreak, and that's uh, that's considered bad driving. So I mean, a lot of people will get uh, uh, I mean trouble for heartbreaking. Uh, heartbreaking uh, is. Um, uh, can happen if somebody comes in front of you all of a sudden uh, you're gonna have to heartbreak I mean uh, there's no way around it but if you're a defensive driver uh, majority of your time you should be able to plan like say the traffic lights stop signs uh, you know other drivers depending on how they're driving you should keep enough distance so you can actually slow down uh, and um, right now I'm driving actually slow I mean the guy probably behind me but uh, yeah, this is a. Uh, I mean, this is not a. Uh, I mean, I guess. Uh, I guess you can get a ticket for driving too slow, but uh, you can get tickets for driving too fast too. So, uh, but try to stay within a speed limit. Maybe I was driving. Maybe I was driving five miles lower this time because I was recording the video. So. Uh, So, a lot of people drive aggressively. Um, not many people drive with um, speed limit in mind. So they're driving uh, fast because they don't have a Snapchat device. So it's kind of like uh, you know when you're driving with your family or parents in your car, you're gonna drive much more sensible. Uh, and when there's nobody around in your car, uh, you're driving by yourself, you speed, you know, uh, and that's pretty much uh, what a snapshot device is, is basically like an adult supervision for the driver. So if you can, the idea is you can drive safer, it reduces the risk for insurance company to have an act, you having an accident. And if you have, a, uh, if you have a less likelihood of accident, then your risk drops and and it's cheaper so I mean progressive is generally uh, cheaper than other insurance companies if you have an accident or a speeding ticket um, I remember in the past I had an um, accident without insurance a long time ago and I had to file SR22 which is like uh, expensive insurance and progressive was the only option for me that I could just uh, uh, do without paying a lot of money. So I was like, okay, that's what I want to do. And um, I shopped around and I found out progressive. And progressive is generally 
for young drivers also progressive is uh, much more high risk tolerant tolerant insurance company now farmers for example is more of a uh, insurance company that uh, caters mainly to good drivers and they're good rates as long as you are driving record is perfect if you have anything like speeding ticket or anything, they, they kind of discourage you from insuring to them uh, by raising the rate they don't want high risk uh, customers they want low risk customers I mean I guess you know it's a good business model but you have to realize uh, customers are customers they're you know they're gonna be some of them gonna be you have to have a good balance and you want to get the business of people who are high risk because they pay you more yes they are high risk but they're paying you more so anyway um, I guess not all insurance companies are designed equally uh, but my point here is you know you you want to have um, all these um, factors in when you are getting your insurance company so and the good thing about in US, United States, is that you have a choice. Um, oh, looks like the store, Google store that I was going to make trip to is closed. So they must have closed early or they were closed all day today. Yeah. Anyway, so. Foster and they don't, you know, they don't pay attention to the guy in front, and they generally hit uh, from rear. Now if they hit and they run. It's a hit and run, and the dash cam is great for that too because if they hit and run. Uh, you will not have a uh, hard time trying to convince the insurance company that was a hit and run, you know, because they don't know if you backed into something. They don't know more which direction you were going. So if you were backing and you backed into something and then you say, oh yeah, I was rear ended and that's, uh, uh, you know, you have a video evidence, it's easier to claim that hit and run and then you won't have to worry about it so but yeah that's the that's my video it's been a long video it's almost 16 minutes trip so yeah I think if this camera is a little darker now I can, at least in the screen but I'll see what the footage will look like on the on the actual uh, computer screen if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel i like to make more videos like that but anytime you want to make a video like this it takes an effort um of course uh, i have to uh, focus more on the item that i'm trying to make a video about and i'm going to literally take a snapshot of this um, with my phone and then connect that so you know actually which dash cam I'm using here okay bye Uh, and 
they have GPS uh, position for your address. So it uh, really is uh, very uh, simple. Um, like one of the biggest problems was with cabs is like uh, directions, uh, you know, getting to places, especially if you're not very familiar uh, with the city. Um, now, if you lived in the city for a very long time, you know a lot better than somebody like in Rideshare. You can have a new person, new city, and they can start it right away because so GPS is uh, really easy. Uh, phone takes you from point A to point B. Um, yeah, so this is my like five and a half hours of experience riding for uh, Uber. Uh, uh, I signed up and I just want to experience it. I'm not afraid of finding out what it is and I had strangers in my car. Most of them, pretty much all of them were polite and I uh, didn't have any problems. And it was like a... Uh, it is a week. We have a holiday hour, we have different Christmas, Thanksgiving, and New Year probably, yeah. Alright, anyway. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I think it's a not a bad thing. I mean, this is my daily driver. Although I don't uh, drive fast anymore but I really don't want to drive fast if it helps me save money uh, you know and uh, I mean I can still go up to 75 in this setup I mean they don't have any problem uh, driving with traffic up to 75 because they know I, you can't avoid that and the, all the traffic is going fast uh, but they can definitely ding you for braking fast. So I have to plan my brakes. Um, so that's the only thing that I got uh, really uh, concerned with. Now I'm like letting it cruise till the stop sign and I don't press my brakes really busy. It's actually better for efficiency too. Like um, Like when you are, um, you know, like most of the businesses are closed on Thanksgiving. Uh, today is Thanksgiving, so yeah. And it looks like what's on the road is uh, just some, um, yeah, somebody's slow. Fuck, check it. Alright, so yeah, so uh, coming back to the dash cam. So, yes, any any tool that you can put in your car that helps you, I call it. Uh, uh, like police officer wear when they are uh, doing like for everybody like if you are walking on the street and you have a body cam then you are able to record uh, uh, without actually uh, using your hands you know you're freeing up and uh, it doesn't really necessarily have to be your face it's like around you uh, you know you nowadays with 360 cameras become super easy to have um, a really good um, view of your surrounding and so I guess yeah this was a short trip um, of um, slow people will try to come really close to you like uh, almost like ready to touch your bumper knowing very well if somebody does hit you from behind it's their fault no question about it like if you get rear-ended on in an accident that is their fault they are supposed to watch the car in front not you are supposed to watch your back even though a good defensive driver will wash the back but you know a 
aggressive drivers tend to go faster and they didn't like uh, they were uh, and I didn't have any music in my car so they were like please fucking give me to uh, you know, the ride apparently people who do ride share they know they know uh, the process so I mean I don't play any music uh, generally and if I do it's a very probably didn't because I didn't want to have any issues because I was trying to follow the uh, map on the phone so the GPS so one time I did have a road blockage and I had to take alternate route but other than that it was pretty straightforward and yeah so again if you do this for a living like drive a car you definitely need the dash cam you need the GPS tracker you need all those things but if you are literally any driver you should be considered doing a dash cam um, and yeah I mean I mean you now the price is so cheap it it's just really foolish not to have it because uh, because you don't know what will happen on the road I mean, road hazards are always an issue uh, let's say if somebody is uh, 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 stuff that they're hauling like uh, something hits from another car to your car at least they'll know what kind of car that came from and maybe they can track it maybe they cannot maybe you can get the license but maybe you cannot but it's a lot better than having no evidence like if you have uh, that video evidence you can uh, show it to your insurance company so they won't dig you for it like you know um, it's very uh, great if you really are that helps your driving or save you money or you know protects you from unknowns uh, is a good thing um, I don't know why uh, cars don't shut down with a dash cam I guess there might be a privacy issue that uh, people uh, like uh, customers when the manufacturer is selling but you know like uh, Tesla generally has a camera system already and they monitor your uh, you know uh, it's recording because they are able to give the footage to uh, the company um, I guess they're tracking or it's like a beta program or testing whatever the case may be but other manufacturers are afraid of having a system I mean it's cost a little extra but you have bird's eye view camera system in a car but like Toyota for example doesn't have a dash cam which is strange I mean like they should give you an option of dash cam you know like you should have control over it like if you want to turn it on or not I mean they don't really have a camera inside the cabin which they should and um, you know kind of like a webcam you know like having it really on turn it on um, if you want to record stuff what's going on in the car like especially if you are doing any kind of um, rental car services or uh, or you know ride sharing services um, I mean you're driving commercial you want to know like say if there's an instance uh, where you get a customer that's uh, aggressive or uh, says something you have evidence to show that he or she instigated uh, the situation you were not at fault um, so it's nice to have that or if somebody bugged you not that ride sharing uh, you deal with cat or if you really don't have any video evidence um, I mean I think it's better than no evidence at all uh, that's why the security cameras in case like a uh, fire or anything like that they are actually very good because they provide the evidence to the fire inspector and uh, and and uh, and the uh, insurance company because they know that what happened wasn't your fault. Like in case of arson, you know, uh, you don't have, you're not gonna have any evidence because you instigated it and the insurance company is always looking for fraud scam people who you know like do that thing like you know you can let your barn on fire and then claim that is a 
an accident just happened. I mean, it's very hard for somebody to prove it, but if they do find it, you are going to jail. So you don't want to do anything like that. So fires do happen, accidents happen, that's fine. But if you have evidence to back those accidents, then that's even better. Uh, so yeah, video evidence is always great. Uh, uh, I love that information. Just like I wish uh, we should have a body dash cam too. Like uh, kind of like the vlog setup, like people vloggers, like literally when they're going around, they're always recording themselves, and it's like a dash cam for them. So they you know if somebody harasses them or anything like that. The, then the footage there. The only thing is with bloggers, like uh, they can't record if they are really uh, have a location. Um, you know, I mean, the person is gonna attack their camera. So you need a dash cam, a body cam, should I call it? Uh,